Welcome to Time to Win Podcast, where healing and growth collide with purpose and you get to heal, grow, and prosper. I'm your host, RJ Jackson. Join me as we take a graceful 90 degree turn from stress and struggling to purpose and prosperity. As a professional impact speaker and mindset coach, I'm here to show you the way out of secretly suffering in silence and help you get back on the path of prosperity. Because I firmly believe that you were born to prosper. So if you're ready, let's make that shift. It's time to win, my friend. So let's go fight win. What's going on, champion? Happy Wednesday. W-I-N-S-D-A-Y. It's the day we win. Girl, we doing the thing. So thank you for joining us here in the Locker Room of Life on Time to Win podcast. I am your host, RJ Jackson, the Courage Giver, here to help you go from overthinking to overflowing. We're diving in deep, and we're going to just take... 17 minutes to do so. Recently, someone asked me, RJ, why do you say 17 minutes? I selected 17 minutes because the number 17 represents victory. And I just want to remind you, in the end, you win. You were born to prosper. So we're going to dive in and we're going to embark on a journey on releasing the burdens of yesterday and embracing the possibility of tomorrow. Our theme for this month is from overthinking to overflowing, detoxing the pain of the past and the fear of the future. So if you haven't done so yet, get your pen and paper out. I'm going to be giving you those winning strategies, the steps that you can take one step at a time to detox your mind and break free from overthinking. So let's get into it. I want to kick today's topic off with one of my all-time favorite scriptures. In Isaiah 43 verses 18 through 19. I, I want to share it with you because it's, it's so appropriate for today's theme. Isaiah 43 18 says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. And God said, here's why. Because I'm doing a new thing. Mm. That part right there. God said, I'm doing a new thing. And so that means we got to let go of the old and embrace the new thing that God wants to do in us, through us, to us, and for us. Are you ready for that? Can you handle that, my friend? (laughs) Okay, if so, let's dive in. Let's explore how we can detox the pain of the past. And as you join me at the table, we're going to acknowledge that our past, yes, it may have hurt, but we're going to learn how to release the hurt and make room for healing and growth. After all, healthy people grow. You wrote that down, right? Healthy people grow. And if you're not growing, we got to break some unhealthy habits. And I'm here to help you do so because I want to see you heal, grow, and prosper. I know what it's like to feel stuck, to be stagnant, to feel like there's got to be more to life than this. Like, I know what it's like to feel like you've made such a mistake that what's the point? Trust me when I tell you. I know what it's like. And I also know what it's like to heal, grow, and prosper. And let me tell you, I prefer to heal, grow, and prosper. And yes, there's growing pains, but when you apply Isaiah 43, 18 to your life, then you realize you ain't got to grow or go through this thing by yourself. And that you can get through what you're going through You can get past the pain of the past. And let me tell you how I did it. I started believing that the word works. And I applied Isaiah 43, 18 to my life. 
I decided to do exactly what it said and forget the former thing. Do not dwell on the past. Instead, embrace the new thing that God is doing. Instead of allowing my pain in the past to define me, I chose to forgive myself for the mistakes I've made. And let me tell you, whoo, they were big. <laughs> but I let it go. And this was one decision that really transformed my life and opened up new opportunities for joy, for peace, clarity. And I didn't have to overthink and be stuck in a situation where I couldn't grow. And what I want to do today, I want to share with you what I did to help me detox the pain of the past. Are you ready? All right, let's go do the thing. As my friend, the real Bernice Taylor would say, let's go. <laughs> so the first thing I had to do, I'm going to tell you the steps that I took. And I really believe that in the right environment with the right accountability, you can take these steps and they will work for you as well. First thing I had to do was acknowledge my feelings. I had to allow myself to feel what I was feeling and to feel okay with expressing my emotions. I had to learn how to do that without judging myself. And I had to learn to do that in a safe environment with people who would understand, with people who would want to see me heal and grow. And honestly, that wasn't with my friends. I had to hire a coach to help me see beyond what I was seeing. And starting with myself first, because I don't know about you, but me, I knew how to beat myself up. Like, why did you do that? That was so dumb. What were you thinking? Now look what you've done. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough people doing that. Like, I had to get back in my corner, refocus my thoughts, and let go of what I could not control. And I had to learn that I could not control what had happened because what had happened was it happened. It was over. It was in the past. And all I could do from that moment was go forth and do better and be better. Once I started practicing forgiveness, starting with myself, I was able to forgive other people for what they had done or what I felt they had done to me. Because a lot of times things people do, it's not even intentional. They're not even trying to hurt us, but we let our feelings get in the way. And sometimes our feelings getting in the way keep us from having the conversation that we need to be having with other people. So I wanna encourage you, if you're struggling with forgiveness, I want to remind you that the person who's in prison it's you, not the other person, you. So start with forgiving yourself, whether it's forgiving yourself for putting yourself in that situation, forgiving yourself for the mistakes you've made, forgiving yourself for not doing what you know God's called you to do. Forgive yourself. God said he forgave you. Forgive yourself. You can't forgive others until you forgive yourself because when you forgive yourself, you take responsibility. And then you let yourself go. You release yourself. And as you release yourself, you make room for you to release other people as well. And sometimes as we go to number three, we think, you know, well, if they don't, if they don't say they're sorry, I won't have closure. Closure doesn't come from them. Closure comes from you. You have the key. You have the power to close the door. So find a way to experience closure on the past events, whether that's through having a conversation with a person, writing in your journal, or meditating on the word of God to remind yourself who you are and whose you are and the new thing that God has for you. Find the way of escape because God already promised he gonna make the way for us to escape. If we're still in a situation in our heart and our mind, then that's where we choose to be. Find a way to find closure. And sometimes, my friend, that really is about seeking professional help. And there's nothing wrong with seeking professional help. As we find ways to close that door, we go to number four. Number four, I decided that I couldn't do anything about the past. Tomorrow hadn't gotten here yet, and all I had was the present. 
And with the present, I decided to focus on what I had in my hand. And I did that by engaging in mindfulness practices to help me stay grounded in the here and now. I spent time in my word. And you know what else I did? I served. I gave my life away. I intentionally started volunteering more and more and looking for opportunities to get my mind off of me and put my mind on someone else. Because at the end of the day, the truth be told, someone always had it worse than me and someone has it worse than you. I'm sure you heard the saying, I felt bad that I didn't have any shoes to wear until I saw the man who didn't have any feet, right? Focus on the present. Stay grounded in the here and now. In the here and now, this gives me an opportunity to create some new memories. And that's another step I took to detox the pain of the past. I started creating new memories because as I created new memories, I started replacing the old painful memories with the new positive experiences. And I tell you what, it was fun. It it gave me a reason to laugh, to smile, to look forward to something else instead of looking back to what hurts so much. And as I was creating new memories, I was also making new friends, meeting new people. And that helped me realize, as I always say, we need each other to survive. We're created for connection. So it helped me realize that it's important for us to seek support. Reach out to people. It's not always your friends and family, but we don't want to leave them out because sometimes they're good. They help, right? But if they don't, don't say, I don't have anybody. Don't nobody support me. I'm the one that's always supporting everyone. Find you a coach. Get you a therapist. Seek wisdom. There are people who are created to connect to you, to help you get through what you're going through. Don't use that lame excuse. My friends and family don't support me. They can't. And that's okay. But there are people who are created just for you to connect to. And when we start connecting to people, we start creating new memories and detoxing the pain of the past. You know, I think it's interesting how our mind can cling to past events, but we say things like, girl, I can't remember nothing, but we don't forget the pain from the past. Matter of fact, we replay them over and over again in our head. And honestly, I think it's time we just push the stop button. Don't rewind, don't fast forward, just press the stop button. And for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you picking up what I'm putting down, pick the needle up off the record, okay? It's time to focus on the beauty of the present. Let's release the pain of the past and let's make room for healing. Are you ready? Because now is the time, my friend. The world is waiting for you to show up, but you cannot move forward always thinking about what had happened was. You can't enjoy the moment if you continue to look back in the past. Have you tried driving a car lately, continuously looking through the rear view mirror? Well, if you haven't tried it, please don't, because it's dangerous, just as dangerous as it is to live your life constantly looking back. It's a new day, my friend, a new day filled with new mercies. Go ahead, forget the former things. Don't dwell on the past. Look for the new thing that God is doing right here and right now, because there's one thing for sure. God is always up to something amazing. And his plan is for you to prosper. Whatever you've gone through, realize this. It's over. Let go and let God trust him with the plans that he has for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans for a future. Plans for a hope. Plans for you to succeed and not fail. It's Wednesday, W-I-N-S. It's the day, my friend, that you win. But you have to let go and let God in. He wants to take the hurt and heal the pain of the past. Let me know which step you'll take first and let me walk with you along the way. As a matter of fact, 
I want to invite you to join us for our Overcoming Overthinking, Detoxing the Pain of the Past and Fear of the Future discussion. You can find out more information by visiting us at IamRJJackson.com. That's IamRJJackson.com. Join us at the table. We're saving a seat just for you. In the meantime and in between time, I want to remind you, this is your winning season. Let's release the past and make room for healing. Join us next week as we dive deeper and we tackle the fear of the future. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to Time to Win. I recognize that you appreciate the value provided in today's episode. And for your gratitude, I'm giving you a Time to Win VIP listener badge. So head on over to timetowinpodcast.com. That's timetowinpodcast.com. And claim your badge and gain immediate VIP access to more of our next level resources and opportunities, including details on the huddle, a table for 10, the cure circle, and the cure retreat. Because you've enjoyed today's session, you can also express your gratitude by rating, reviewing, and returning next week with a friend. Oh, by the way, be sure to screenshot today's episode and share it in your Instagram and Facebook story or on your favorite social media platform. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week in the locker room of life here on Time to Win. And remember... The best time to win is now.